We're just a small school. Our athletes are just small athletes. I, I laugh when I hear that. Like, what do you, our athletes compete like every other athlete. Um, some of our programs are very strong. Some of them are not, but they're still athletes competing. Whether you win or lose, whether you win a championship or not, my feeling as an athletic director is to give our athletes every opportunity to be successful. And giving them a quality strength and conditioning program will be part of that. Giving them quality and coaching, putting them in nice uniforms, having nice fields, all that stuff comes into play. But if you can't run up and down the field and change direction, and uh, you can't take care of yourself when you have an injury, you can't prevent injuries, you're never going to be on the field to play. So while I hear that a lot, and I've heard it from other, from other heads of schools at other schools, um, it's obviously not true. I was talking to my head of school just recently, asking him about bringing a strength and conditioning coach to just a two-week session for our soccer program. Our coach gave, call, gave me a call back in uh, June and said, I want to do this. What do you think? I said, well, let's see where we are in July when we have our budget numbers and see if we can figure it out. Um, I was in the meeting for about an hour trying to explain to him why it's valuable and what a person, what the person that was coming into us had and what kind of training they had and what kind of skill set they had. And um, in the end, I ended up winning because I think my head of school likes me a little bit. But, I, but trying to teach somebody all the skills that you guys possess that can be a benefit um, is a challenge. But it has to be done in order for my athletes to, to improve. <clears throat> I don't know how many of you, this happens every now and then. Oh, you're bringing a, a certified a strength conditioning trainer in or strength conditioning coach. What, are they going to be able to tape us? Like, are you, are you kidding me? So again, this goes back to my first point that there's a lot of education that goes into teaching people that aren't in the know what you guys, what you guys do and how valuable it is. <clears throat> this is something that scares me. When I went to one of our coaches, I said, we're going to bring a strength in. Not all of my programs, coaches really care. Some of them just roll out the ball. And that, that, those coaches are no longer with us. I think this, this, this year's of coaches is, is going to be pretty quality. But in the past, I've had some coaches that said, we don't need to do that. We're only playing a game. And uh, I said, they said, well, we could just send a team to the weight room. They'll be fine. Well, we don't even have a weight room. We could send them to the world gym. They'll be fine. I said, well, what are they going to do at world gym? They're going to have a personal trainer? They have someone working with them? No, nah, we'll just read something in a book. Like, that's not going to get it done. And then the, the most fun that I have in this conversation is our, our, our program that has been most um, intrigued or been working the most with personal, with uh, strength and conditioning coaches and that whole realm of, of fitness is our boys lacrosse program. And they have been the most successful program in my school for, for years. They compete on a very high level, more so than pretty much any other of my programs with the exception of tennis and golf who do very well as well. 